This is Ari Ash shooting this video in front of D.C. Superior Court at the intersection of 5th and Indiana, the 400 block of 5th Street Northwest. And we're shooting this video 10 days after our first video to show some changes that have been made to the signage as a result of a ticket that we've brought to their attention. So as you cross the street, you're going to be heading up the 5th Street up towards East Street. And the first thing you notice will be the signs here. The signs 10 days ago only had one red sign saying no parking or standing 4 to 6.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. There was no green sign whatsoever, just that red sign prohibiting parking from 4 to 6.30 p.m. covering the block. But as you now look down, there is a green sign, which again was not there, that says two-hour parking, 7 a.m., 4 p.m., Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Saturday, and then three-and-a-half-hour parking from 6.30 to 10 p.m. Monday through Saturday, so long as you pay to park for the hours that you're actually parking there. Again, this green sign was not there at all 10 days ago when we shot this video. So now we move along. We're going to walk down the block, and the thing you want to know as we uh, approach these meters here is that these meter stickers uh, have been updated. Along this block, they've updated a whole bunch of signs and a whole lot of meter stickers. Ten days ago, you only had green signs pretty much throughout the block and only red signs at the edges of the block. And as we approach the sign here, you'll see a significant change. Again, ten days ago, this was only one green sign with bad information. Ten days ago, this sign said that you could park between 7 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. That information was inaccurate. The only signs that were red were down by the red light down there. Now, this part of the block, there was only a green sign saying you could park between 4 and 6.30. That has now changed, as you can see. Again, the meter stickers are correct here, telling people that you cannot park on this block Monday through Friday between 4 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. So the signs and the stickers on this part of the block have all been updated so that information that was inaccurate before is now in unison and sending a clear and consistent message. We're now walking up the block a little bit more. We're going to show you some more of the signs, some more of the meters. You see the sticker has been updated on both of them as well, saying you can't park during p.m. rush hour. Again, as we approach this sign here, this was one solitary green sign 10 days ago that said so long as you pay to park, you could park for up to two hours from 7 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., unlimited from 6.30 until 10. And now you see there's a red sign here added on top of the green signs that say you cannot park or stand 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. So additional signs that were no longer there. You got a no parking sign for the area near this federal building. And then once again, this green sign, as you'll see here, uh, has been updated to let you know that you cannot park between 4 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. You can on Saturday, but you cannot Monday through Friday. The signs 10 days ago sent the completely opposite message to the red signs saying that you could park during p.m. rush. DDOT has now fixed the sign. Now we continue to walk. We're going to show you a couple more of the signs and take you to the edge of East Street just to show you how DDOT has fixed the signs along the block to now no longer send inaccurate information through the green sign. So again, this green sign 10 days ago said that you could in fact park between 4 and 6.30 p.m., but now says you can't. They've also, again, added a red sign that was not there 10 days ago saying you can't park during p.m. rush. So now a clear and consistent message, although this sticker here is an old one and it still has the old times. But again, no, this is right below the sign that you cannot park, even because of this sticker saying that you can, you cannot park in these spots between 4 p.m. and 6.30 p.m., so hopefully they'll fix that sticker. And now we're going to walk up here and just finish the rest of the block and get to the key sign we identified 10 days ago at the end of the block. So as we approach here, these stickers have been updated. Can't park during p.m. rush. And we're going to approach this last meter, which the stickers were not correct as of 10 days ago. So we'll see what they are now. So we approach these stickers, and as we turn around here, the stickers are still not correct, giving the inaccurate information that you can park during p.m. rush. So the three of the stickers on the street are still wrong, but just know you cannot park during p.m. rush. And as we get to this final sign here, you'll remember this is the one that said completely mutually exclusive, contradictory information 10 days ago. So we have the no parking 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. sign on the top. 
That was there 10 days ago. This green sign has now been changed. 10 days ago, it said that it was legal to park between 4 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. Now it makes it clear that it's not. So the top sign, the red sign, and the green sign on the bottom, which were not in unison 10 days ago, are now in unison. So the final thing is this ticket to Lisa Foreman that was issued by DDOT when the signs were not correct. And the question becomes, will DDOT, which wrote this ticket, when the signs were not correct, will they void this ticket to Lisa Foreman? Will they say, we change the signs and we understand why she was confused and we will administratively void this ticket so that she doesn't have to go through the, the painstaking process of adjudication? But no, if you park on this block between 4 and 6.30, you will get a valid ticket.